Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Worship on the Web, brought to you by the British province of the Moravian Church. I am Tanya McCartney and I am a member of the University Road Congregation. Today's worship brothers and sisters from Kilwarden and University Road Congregations will lead you in our worship and the message will be brought to you by our minister, Brother Livingstone Thompson. It is time to worship. We begin with the reading of the watchwords for today, September the 6th. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. From Psalm 121 verse 7. In heavenly love abiding, no change my heart shall fear. And safe in such confiding, for nothing changes here. The storm may roar around me. My heart may low be laid, but God is round about me, and can I be dismayed? And then our New Testament text is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. May the, the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now let us pray. God the Father, maker of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. God the Son, saviour of the world, heal us and make us whole. God the Holy Spirit, guide and comforter, remain with us forever. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, for you rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safely into the kingdom of your dear Son, by whom we are set free and our sins forgiven. Grant us to find strength and comfort in Christ by his humble birth and holy life, by his obedience and faithfulness, and by his ministry in word and deed. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Oh, 
Our Bible story today is Noah's Ark, read by Jordana. God told Noah exactly what shape and size to build the large wooden ark in which his family would escape the floods. Noah was to coat it inside and out with tar to make it waterproof. Then God said, you are to take into the ark two of every living creature, male and female, to keep them alive with you, said God. The Old Testament reading is taken from Exodus chapter 12, verses 1 to 6. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers a lamb for house and if the household be too little for the lamb let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb your lamb shall be without blemish a male of the first year you shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Love for one another. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law, the commandments. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbour as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbour. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is. How it is now, the moment from you wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then 
lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. My strength, my song, this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. sisters, good morning and welcome to another morning meditation. In today's meditation, we have a reflection on two passages. We have a passage from the reading we had in, uh, in Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And then we have a passage in Exodus chapter, chapter 12 and verse 6. And I'll, I'll tell you a little about them in a little while. The topic of our meditation today is staying alert, being aware. How aware are you of the circumstances in which you are living? How aware of you are you of your community? How aware is your church of the community in which it is bringing ministry? And for the, those of us in the wider Moravian community or the wider Christian community, how aware are we of the context and the times in which we are living? How aware are you? Some of us need an alarm clock to get awake, especially if we have to get awake at an unusual time. 
Some of us, like myself, the body has developed its own body clock, so to speak, so that after a certain number of hours sleeping, you can rest assured sleep runs out and you get awake. The passage in, in the book of Romans in chapter 13 and verse 11 has this interesting call saying to us, it is high time that we get awake. It is time to be awake. It's time for us to get up out of slumber and become aware of the circumstances, so to speak, around us. It goes on to say that it is high time for us to be awake because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. In other words, things are happening and it is important for us to be aware. A similar passage, uh, a similar idea comes to us in the book of Exodus, but in a slightly different way. In this story we have in Exodus 12, it is about Abraham moving into the land of Canaan. And as he moved through the land of Canaan, a number of things were recognized, a number of things were identified. And in verse 6, we have this very interesting phrase given without explanation, but obviously mentioned because it has some importance. It says, at that time, as Abraham arrived into the land of Canaan, the Canaanites were in the land. The Canaanites were in the land. So the question for us to consider then, what might we, uh, how might we respond to this idea of being alert and aware of who are the people around us with whom we are living and we are working? It seems to me that for those of us who are involved in ministry, for those of us who are involved in the witness of the gospel, for those of us who come into a situation where we might be minority among those who are uh, living by faith, where we might be the, those whom no one would easily turn to for advice, how aware are we of our context? I want to bring you this advice and the recommendation today consistent with this word in Romans 13 to say, be aware, stay awake, awake from your slumber. It gives me a great deal of concern that many of our brothers and sisters of faith at this time have become disengaged from the things which, where their faith overlaps with the realities that are in the world. There are people who feel that it is not necessary for them to be concerned and to be aware of the things which are happening on the news. Some people get bored by listening to the stories and the tragedies on the news. Some people get bored by hearing again and again the sad news. We do not want to hear those things that disturb our sense of comfort. But it is the reality in which we are living. We should be aware. Because, as Exodus says, the Canaanites are in the land. We must reckon, in other words, with those circumstances around us which may not be easy for us to contend with. We must become aware of those situations in our midst which may put a, a stress against our faith that may function as an opposition to the things that we proclaim and to what we say. So, the Canaanites are in the land, reminding us that there are people around us in our context which may not share our values, that may not share our hopes and our dreams, who may not see the message of the gospel as a gospel to be received in this time. Or as Romans says, stay awake and be alert. So I would like to give a word of uh, encouragement and advice to you in your community in which you are living today, or for the churches of which you may be a part, I want to say to you, first of all, in order to stay awake and be alert and to reckon with the circumstances around, I'd say take a walk around your community. If you used to drive around, choose an opportunity when you would walk around because you will discover once you change the perspective from which you are seeing things, from which you are observing your community, then there are new things that you will discover. 
Who are the people living on your doorstep? Who are your neighbors? Do you know those who are around you? So I say to you, around your church, who is living there? Walk around, see who is there. What are their cares? What are their concerns? How do you bring the witness and the love of God, which is part of what the message has to proclaim in Romans 12? It's all about the love being given. So I say to you, walk around. But the second advice I'd like to give is that you would also read, read the news, listen to the radio. Get information about what's happening. It may well be that you have to source information on the internet. It may well be that you have to see who are the people on LinkedIn or Facebook that are posting information, but it has to do with your community. Do not only walk around, but read. Stay informed. Because there is a sense in which we cannot and we must not make an excuse for not knowing what's happening on our doorsteps. And the third advice I'd like to give is I'd like to say to you, then talk with people. Because you'll find that only in conversation we become aware of some of the other things that we might know that's happening around us. So what is the message that I have to bring for you today? As I say, stay alert be on your guard, so to speak. It is this. We must reckon with the circumstances in which we are bringing the love of Christ. We must take care for the context in which we are living. Because as in the word of Exodus, the Canaanites are in the land. Or in the word of the book of Romans, Stay awake, awake from your slumber, because our salvation is closer now than when we first believe. So what I say to you, I say to all then, stay awake, be alert. Amen. Almighty God, in whom we live and move and have our being, open our eyes that we may ever behold your loving presence about us. Draw our hearts to you by the power of your love. Teach us to be anxious for nothing, and when we have done what you have given us to do, help us to leave the issue to your wisdom. Take from us doubt and mistrust. Lift up our thoughts to you in heaven, and make us to know that all things are ours through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hear our prayer. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, you are worthy to receive all honour and glory and blessing. Help us to hallow your name by honouring all that reveals your nature and mind, whether in the life and laws of the world about us, or in your word, given through your prophets and your church, or through your spirit in the human mind and conscience. Our Father, hear our prayer. Holy is your name. Eternal God, source and type of all true parenthood in heaven and earth, who sent your Son to seek and save the lost, we pray, trusting in your mercy for all souls, that they may be gathered home to you as one family. The lost found the rebellious reconciled in your eternal kingdom. Our Father, hear our prayer. Your kingdom come. O wisest God, whose service is perfect freedom, help us by continual surrender to you to walk in the way you have prepared for us, so that in doing your will we may find our full life, and you may be known and adored throughout the earth. Our Father, hear our prayer. Your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Amen. And now for our closing prayer. Let us pray. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Receive our worship. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Accept us as your people. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Give us your peace. And now to him who is able to keep us from falling and to bring us faultless and joyful before his glorious presence. To the only God our Saviour, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, might and authority from all ages past, now and forever and ever. Amen. Thank mm-hmm. you.